Enough of paying for tools that you can't even use. Hi, I'm pleased with Bookbeam and use it every day. In the future, will you add a reverse async lookup similar to Cerebro by Helium 10? I was just wondering if Hi, you have an alternative to Cerebro by Helium, Helium 10. Is there any way you want to know what you're doing? Can I get reverse keywords on competitor books using ASINs? Yes, yes you can. Introducing Bookbeam's reverse keyword search tool. So a lot of you guys have been asking for this one and I'm finally very pleased to say that it's out. I can use Bookbeam's reverse keyword search tool to look up the keywords that any book on Amazon or Audible is ranking for, is trying to rank for, or is related to. And you can use these keywords in your book's title and subtitle, use them in your 7KDP backend keyword fields, and also use them to create Amazon keyword targeting ads. So it's an incredibly powerful tool that can use to sell more books, to do better than your competitors, and to have really effective Amazon keyword targeting ads. And you no longer have to pay for competitor tools that are actually meant for Amazon FBA sellers where you can't even use most of the tools. You're paying for tools that you can't even use because they're meant for Amazon FBA sellers. With Bookbeam, all of our tools are meant for you, for KDP publishers, for self-publishers, made by self-publishers, for self-publishers. So you're getting much better value with Bookbeam. So without any further ado, let's dive right in and let's see what the Bookbeam's reverse keyword search tool can do. So using it is pretty straightforward. All you have to do is copy the book's unique identifier, which is either the ASIN or ISBN 10. Here with the Bookbeam extension, I can quickly copy it using this icon here. Or if for some reason you don't have it installed, you can copy it from the book's URL. Or you can also copy it from the book's product details section. Here it would be the ISBN 10. So copy it here and paste it into the reverse keyword search tool and click find keywords. And it's going to show you very quickly, show you all the keywords that this book is ranking for, is trying to rank for, or is related to. So here in the rank column, we can also see which position this book ranks for, for each of these keywords. So here, for example, I'm using riddles for smart kids. We go to it and we can see that it's number one for this keyword. And we can see all of these keywords that this book is ranking for and also getting its sales from. So of course, if a book ranks for a keyword highly, this means that it's getting a lot of its or a chunk of its sales from that keyword because it's actually for two reasons. One, if a book ranks very high for a specific term, it's gonna be getting a lot of clicks. Most clicks are gonna be going to that book it's, if it's, for example, number one, right? And secondly, so it's like a chicken and an egg type of thing. If it's ranking high, if Amazon ranks a book very highly for a certain term, this means that it knows it's very likely to get sales for this term because it has got sales for this term, for this keyword search term. When somebody types in that term, they're very likely to buy. So Amazon doesn't place books that don't convert, that don't lead to sales highly for a certain search term. So this means that it has gotten sales for this keyword in the past and it continues to do so currently. So you can use these keywords, as I mentioned before, in your title, you can take some of the best ones that are the most interesting. Perhaps you see that this book is getting a lot of its sales from a specific keyword that it doesn't even have in its title, then you can use it in your title. You can use it, as I mentioned before, again, in the seven KDP keyword fields, or you can also use it to create keyword targeting campaigns. A feature that's really useful for creating keyword targeting campaigns is the word frequency. So if perhaps you see that this book, we're seeing a lot of keywords here, 5,000 results, it's a lot of keywords. But let's say you want to have your keyword targeting campaign focused around a certain kind of theme. So you want to filter the keywords based on some kind of theme. So Christmas is coming up, so we can filter the keywords by the word gifts. So it's going to only show us keywords that have the word gifts inside of them if I filter it here out of the word frequency. So the word frequency shows us all the most common words that can be found within the keyword list. And if I click any of them, I can filter the list based on any of the keywords the keywords in the list contain. So here I have a list of keywords containing the word gifts and I can create campaigns using this keyword list. I can export the keywords inside of this list. So a CSV file and then easily paste them into an Amazon keyword targeting campaign. So here I've selected the manual targeting keyword campaign, pasted in all of these keywords, click add keywords. And here we have all these keywords pasted in. You can break them apart, of course, in several different campaigns. 500 keywords is gonna be a bit much for one campaign. And you can do the same thing for any of the keywords that you find interesting, perhaps Christmas, activity, or whatever else for the book that you might be looking up. Very similarly to the keyword research tool, you can sort this list by any of the data points, by search volume, by competition, or by opportunity score as well. You can see which of the keywords have the most demand and also the lowest competition, like a ratio of these two. That's what the opportunity score essentially is. So you can basically work with this data however you like. You can also customize the data that you see, customize the columns that you see here by clicking the customize button. And you can also create customized keyword lists. So you can create 
unique, customize your own keyword list based on perhaps if you find interesting keyword ideas, you can save them, save them to a list clicking the, by clicking this button. Let's call this list number two, create. And now all the keywords that I'm gonna add are gonna be added to this new list that we created by just clicking this little plus icon here. And you're gonna have all your perhaps unique keyword ideas that you might, might wanna use in your next book, either in the title or perhaps in the seven KDP keyword fields saved in that list. Or perhaps if you'd like to create a list that you'll use for uh, your Amazon ad keyword targeting campaign, you can do it very easily with this function. So here are all the keywords that we just added to the keyword list, list two inside of the keyword lists tool. And don't forget that this tool doesn't just work on Amazon US. This tool also works on all the other marketplaces that we support. So here I've entered a book from the German marketplace and I can see all the keywords that it ranks for and I can work around with all the data as I like, just like in the US example that I showed. Here is a book from the Amazon Italian marketplace. Again, I can see all the keywords that it ranks for and it also works. This tool also gonna show you keywords for any book on the UK, Amazon UK marketplace, Amazon France, and Amazon Spain. And not only that, it also works for the Audible platform. So this tool is probably the only tool that supports the Audible platform with this function. So it's the only tool you can use to look up reverse lookup, uh, do reverse async lookups for Audible as well and see the keywords that books on Audible rank for. I don't think there's any other tool out there that supports Audible books. So we support Audible US and Audible UK. So you can look up which keywords that a book on Audible is getting its sales from and ranking from. And it's actually a very great feature for Audible because Audible doesn't, you can't do advertising on Audible. Most of Audible's uh, sales, if you're just, you know, unless you're doing something outside of Audible, most of the sales that you get within the Audible platform would happen organically. So guys, that is BookBeam's reverse keyword search tool. If you want to get your hands on it, just click the link down below in the description. And don't forget that you'll also be getting all the other awesome tools that we offer, like the book tracker, the keyword research tool, the Chrome extension, listing optimizer, AI tools, and all the other ones. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next video.